When I was 40, a woman in church told me that I had sabotaged the shot at being a mother no. um, because I'd shared with our small group there's some sexual abuse in my past. And she said, Lisa, I know you've been to Christian counseling, but just in case you weren't fixed, you might <laughs> unwittingly transfer the trauma you experienced as a child onto a child of your own. Oh my God. And so she said, I, I do not think, I think you've sabotaged the shot at being a mother that you have, you've missed that chance. So yeah. my encouragement would be to go to the Nashville Humane Society and adopt a dog which should go with pets. I was 40. Y'all, I should have known better. I've been yeah. walking with Jesus since I was a little kid. Yep. But I think here's where we believe we've missed it. And, and conviction and shame are wholly different things. Jesus doesn't use shame as a no. motiva motivational tool, but I would, that was my deepest fear, mm -hmm. was the craziness in my past mm -hmm. had, had just sabotaged my shot at having a family of my own. I put that adoption application in the back of my file drawer at church after meeting with a woman who, who meant well. She was crooked in her theology, but she wasn't mean-spirited. Mm -hmm. Wasn't somebody screaming from the world. It yeah. was she misunderstood mm -hmm. calling. It was <laughs> seven more years before I started the adoption process. Mm -hmm. And I know Missy is God's will for me, but you know how you're like, man, no good thing does he withhold, but what did we miss mm -hmm. when right. we didn't continue in what God has, had called us to because he didn't say quit. Right. And so, yeah, I think we make calling this razor's edge when it's usually a much wider funnel. Hi, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's a whole lot more. You can subscribe, and let's get better together.